taking off over at Mbaseli National Park in Kenya. And I wanted to share this scene with you because it shows what the landscape looks like and uh, what the elephants and other wildlife have to go through to f try to find food. It's taken from the helicopter with the door removed so that the vet could dart the elephants for collaring. Uh, it was an exciting experience not to have a door on a helicopter, um, but uh, no one fell out. Here's uh, the director of Kenya Wildlife Services who went up in the helicopter with us so that he could see the operation firsthand in support of all of the rangers that are under his command. As we fly over Mbaseli, you can see how dry it is, uh, but suddenly there's a change, and this is where the swamp is. Now the swamp is filled with water that comes down from Kilimanjaro, and one of the concerns that you will see when you travel there is if you look up at Kilimanjaro, the snowpack is diminished over time, and there's not as much water coming down from the glacier on top of Kilimanjaro as there used to be. So that's a real concern for the future. You can see here that we're flying over a space that has a lot of water in it, and it's right next to the lodge of the Serena a hotel chain uh, where we usually stay and it's right inside the park which is a great way to see wildlife uh, even at night sitting having a coffee. Uh, here you can see where the elephant has been darted is down on the ground uh, sedated and a collar has been put around his neck and um, we're just waiting now uh, from the safety of the cars to see him wake up. Here he is he's up and uh, he's trying to figure out what actually happened. You can see that he's smelling the collar around his neck and trying to get his bearings. So the trunk is an incredible, incredible uh, instrument that the, that the elephants have um, to eat and, and to smell and to find out where they are. And finally, we are finished with this operation of collaring this elephant and we're off on our way.